Hey, it's Chris with Mater Dog Training Solutions. And David from Dogtopia. We're here today, we're gonna to talk about a little bit about okay. uh, crate training your puppy at home. This gives your dog a, a spot to go to, to to feel secure and to just kind of get out of your way. You know, in the times we're having right now with COVID-19, we really need to find a spot for our dogs to feel comfortable, not have so much anxiety, not be around us 100% of the day. Um, this kind of gives them a go-to, a place to relax and, and kind of get out of the way for us. So um, we're gonna start off with all I'm going to do is take my dog's favorite treats. I just happen to have some freeze-dried liver here, or freeze-dried lung, beef lung. Um, you can use anything from your dog's kibble. You know, you can use chicken, beef, anything like that. Um, you want them to really love what we're doing. So all I'm going to do is lure my dog over. And I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to lure her in. She's going to follow the food, and she's just going to eat the food. I'm just going to let her have it. Doors open. We're just going to practice. So she's already liking doing this. So what she's doing is I want more food. I'm gonna wait here for you, Dad, and that's what I wanna see. If she breaks out, that's okay, I'm gonna let her come on out. It's all on her turn. So if she comes on out, or I can even have her break position, she'll come out from here on. I'll lure her back in. Again, I'm not calling it anything yet. I wanna make sure she'll stay in before I actually call anything. So perhaps I can close the gate this time. You know, we'll, we'll get some time here. Make it really exaggerated that you're closing the door. Pull on the latches, pull on the gate, you know, it, it should not be a trigger for them to hurry up and get out of the, out of the uh, crate or to try and escape on you. Good girl. Good, yes. As I build up more time, as you can see, we're using two dogs here. <laughs> as I build up more time, I need to pay her more. So each time I come back, I'm paying her more for staying there longer. At home, you want to try to get around the corner, perhaps in another room. Maybe you want to use the bathroom. Maybe you want to go get a drink from the refrigerator. Do all these different things that you would normally do in life. Don't use this as the only opportunity for when you leave the house, because it's not gonna work. You have to start with very few seconds at a time. So 10, 20 seconds at a time, and then build up to minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, three hours, and so on. So again, I'm gonna let her break out. Now when I know she'll go in all the time, every single time, I'm gonna start calling it as she goes in. So I'm gonna lure her in this time, and I'm gonna call it, great, good girl. And throw her a couple treats. And again, just keep practicing more time. She's going to come on out. Now, I know Freya will do this, and we've practiced this a lot already. So what's happening now is she knows the word crate, so she's going to automatically go in. So if I call her out, Freya, come. Come here, girl. When I call her to send her in, crate, she's going to go in and look for her reward. Good girl. I'll just dust it off at the bottom. I'm going to close her in. Now for me, we've worked it a little bit beyond just going inside the cage. I like a dog to be in a relaxed position. So what I'll do is I'll put her in relax. Pretty relax. Good girl. This is actually my crate command. When she's in the relaxed position inside the cage, that's crate for me. This is where you want your dog, nice and relaxed in the crate. This is where you want to kind of practice from the beginning. If you haven't started or you haven't learned the relaxed position, I do have other videos on my Facebook that you can check out to show you how to get there. But you really want to have a good relaxed position when your dog goes in the crate. So they're not bouncing around, barking, chasing, all that kind of stuff, or trying to climb out. So as an alternative, you know, we're stressed, our dogs are stressed, we're trying to give them a go-to at home. We also have doggy daycare. In particular, we of course have Dogtopia. Yeah, so what we do here is we work and reinforce crate training. If they need a break, they need a timeout, at nap time, um, so they get accustomed to their crate. Their crate is their friend. It's their, their little place to relax. Um, they learn uh, house. We use house command, but we can also use whatever command you've taught your dog. Um, so crate training is a great way, like uh, Chris was saying, to transition, to leave your dog home, not leave your dog out and about. And we also have a lot of dogs that will signal us if they're having a rough day, um, they're tired, whatever, they'll go over to their crate and they'll hit the door and we'll let them in and they'll go sit in there and relax. So also, up and coming is for your puppies, we're gonna have puppy preschool. Got my little cheat sheet here, June 23rd to July 21st, Tuesdays and Thursdays, daycare specifically set up for your puppies. Seven months or younger, must have all their, um, all their shots, but it's geared towards your puppy. It's gonna be from 10 to three, a very structured uh, puppy preschool to help your puppy learn things like sit, crate, stay, prevent biting, prevent jumping, um, just to get that new puppy 
uh, acclimated and reinforced whatever you want to train them with. You know, if you need a help at home trying to get crate training done or you're having some other issues with behavior problems or anything unwanted in your dog, give us a call. We can help you out. Whether here at Dogtopia or myself personally coming out to visit you at the home, we can help you out. Thanks for coming in today. I'm Chris with Maynard Dog Training Solutions. David from Dogtopia. Thank you very much.